this be one of the best moments of your life. You're listening to the Business Mirror Podcast for a broader look on business with Senior Editor Dennis Estopase. I'm Dennis Estopase and welcome to Tuesdays with Tito, a podcast to be anchored by Tito Valiente, one of the hundred honorees in the centenary of Philippine cinema and columnist for the Business Mirror newspaper. Mr. Valiente will share with us one of the many pieces he wrote for his column titled Annotations, which is published every Friday in the op-ed section of the Business Mirror. We hope you enjoy your Tuesday with Tito. Annotations Canonizing Death Death walks silently and magnificently with grandeur, in the film of Christians in Don Cordero called Hinulid, which literally means laid to rest. Death is both a metaphor and a physical presence in the story. Death is the woman who appears as a seamstress seen through the door or finishing what looks like a piece that could never be completed. In a magical scene in the same film, death is pulled by the same woman, now shrouded in black. Death is a human skeleton with a cape of velvet and a crown made of gold. Metaphors always require a double reading, especially if the reader is not grounded on the locale or sight of the figure of speech. But Santa Muerte is the most comprehensible image in this said film by Cordero. The saint walks the field and fuses her or her mystery upon all living things. With the vivid colors of death's accoutrement, the earth seems to come alive. In the realm of rituals, procession is one of these rites. Santa Muerte is part of what Maurice Bloch calls rebounding violence. In this act, the daily life, living, the meaning of life and death, and the magical moments of rebirth in certain ceremonials are conquered and placed under some transcendental authority. Death, therefore, cannot be a sordid, dark figure. For us Filipinos, and the film, Hinulid captures this. Death is a divine, mighty figure as loving as life itself. The past week from the end of October until the first three days of November saw the country celebrating the dead. The memorial parks and cemeteries came alive with buntings and bright lights taking over the usual solemn, quiet garden surrounded by trees. The city and town ordinances against loud music notwithstanding, gazebos where holy masses are held become the hub of DJs playing everything from rock and roll to reggae, from love songs to rap. Where death holds sway in places of graves and epitaphs, life, more robust and rowdy, took over as we try to commemorate the dead by visiting our loved ones who have passed on. We offered candles and flowers to them, but for us there was food of all kinds. Gone was the taboo that no meat be served when one approached the dead. In fact, taboos were swiped away as all things were given the possibility of being held amid signs of entombment. Gambling, singing, swaying to music, all acts that screamed of living. Irreverent as may seem, our view of death seems really more practicable than those cultures holding death off and distant with the most solemn of gaze. The truth of the matter is the icon representing death, the Santa Muerte, is made part of procession but is not allowed inside the church. In the film Hinulid, the woman who carries the statue around assumes the persona of an elderly woman. When three persons are found floating on the stream, victims of salvaging or summary execution, and are brought to the town plaza, she tries to enter the area. The woman who is death is seen trying to step onto the ground shared by the three corpses, but she is unable to 
Something was holding her back. Death cannot be where people are already dead. Death is not the opposite or antithesis of life. It is almost like life, which stays with us. You can even say we die because death is always vital in us. This is consolation of the utmost degree that in death, life, most incomplete, receives a benediction of the other power in earth, that which pulls us into another realm at the edge of the cosmos where we cannot talk to this earth anymore nor sing anymore, but where we can only whisper words of longing that they who we always loved will sense as the tenderest of chill or of a wind that augurs shifts in time and seasons. Thank you for listening to the Business Mirror Podcast for a broader look on business. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Business Mirror. Until next time.